Let's continue on. Let's continue on. Um, let's go with we and uh, sell the stuff. And this is Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, the American version. As you can see, there with the T. Oh. Oh. Nice. <laughs> and then we got the same game, but the Japanese one. And I really like the like lenticular uh, frontier. Hope that shows in the video. Oh, sorry about that. Twilight Princess again. And as many of you guys know, I'm trying to um, to um, change my uh, GameCube collection into uh, from. PAL to NTSC because of yeah I want to uh, be able to use the what is that called again the what is that called it's not the progressive scan is called yeah that's on uh, many other American games not all of them uh, it's even on some uh, PAL one as well. But I'm not talking like the 50, 60 hertz now. I'm talking about yeah something else. So if you really want to get uh, get advantage of that, uh, you really need to get a, like a Japanese or American console, and then uh, get the HD cables or like what I'm gonna do, get the I don't remember what they call, but they go to HDMI. And uh, the first one is actually I was helped with um, from a. I was helped by a really good friend of mine uh, to the UK uh, to get this because uh, the guy wouldn't uh, ship to uh, Sweden. So when I was in, uh, went over to England to uh, Bury, 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 Bury uh, for RK Club outside Manchester, uh, he had it with him. So cheers, mate, for picking this up. And that's Pikmin 2. And what I want to, how I want to have all my. GameCube games in the future is in this like protective sleeve and in nice, nice neck, uh, American and uh, like protective sleeve for the manual. And I want uh, a memory card for each game. So that's my my goal with my GameCube collection. Otherwise, I don't I don't collect any systems really other than Switch. And uh, sell the games. Uh, I'm not collecting. Yeah, you know, it's not that many GameCube games, uh, Americans. I need now, and I'm, I'm trying to get help from overseas. And uh, I'm going to talk about that guy uh, a little bit more because he actually already helped me out. So the second one, I'm really happy to get because that is my favorite party game on the system. To to play like corp in couch. That's bomb my generation. Wow, what a gift for. Form 4 in this game, so good. Uh, and this is all the games I had in PAL, and now I'll swap them over. Uh, I don't have all the Americans yet, like I said, so there's still you know some missing, but these are the ones that I managed to uh, swap over. Uh, Pikmin, yeah, uh, Rebel Strike, Rogue Squadron 3. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this one. This came in a bundle I bought from a guy, really good price on uh, the Retro Realm. I think he was German. And uh, this is Pac-Man World 2. See if that one stays. Then we got Rebel Strike Rogue Squadron 3, the limited edition preview disc, where you can actually play the the original Atari uh, arcade game. It's on the disc there. Star Fox Adventures. I haven't got Assault yet. Really, really want Assault. Uh, really nice Nick. Super nice Nick, like Mario Party 5. And then Mario Party 4. So I'm still looking for Mario Party 6 and 7. I'm gonna try to get them from that person that I'm gonna talk about. Uh, then we've got uh, Star Wars Rogue Leader, Rogue Squadron 2. That was all the game cubes. And before we go, I just uh, 
gonna show you this. I got this box like super cheap. It's with the uh, like the they the book they, ha they have the book in there, but it's, it's missing the game. But I got the game. I got the bigger uh, like limited edition. So I got this really cheap. It is mint condition, so I couldn't turn it down really. I love uh, Mario Maker. So the rest is basically just switch games and uh, I had already had this game but I saw that in the US many times in the US they get like the nicest uh, like limited editions or collected editions and sometimes they say the same about us as well but by the way I have to talk about the switch I kind of felt when I you know I sold off all my Sega's uh, different Sega systems and all my PlayStation systems and several of my Nintendo systems and I'm gonna stop collecting I'm just gonna go for the switch I didn't know the switch is gonna be a system like this I kind of I mean it would have been easy and very very affordable if the system came had games coming out in the same speed as you know the Wii U I mean like good games and that I really want to play and so I thought you know gonna collect it with the switch it's gonna be you know a walk in the park and he, my god this system had so many good games and and there are these companies that I fall into that trap totally you know like limited run games uh, super rare games Strictly limited games. Uh, many of them, you know. There are many of them. So, and they're coming out. So many different versions of everything. And not only for these companies, I said, uh, you know, they're coming out in normal batches as well. And, um, yeah. It's not been easy collecting for this damn machine but I really love the machine it's a fantastic machine probably risen to it's, cl it's really close to my favorite console ever now get the GameCube it's, it's you know about to pass it actually so anywho this game I already had it but I wanted this uh, special version so I sold mine and uh, I got help from uh, a guy called Cooper and Cooper has a video game store in uh, Vancouver Washington and uh, when I'm saying Vancouver uh, Washington you understand that it's not the the real Vancouver that most of us in the world know of uh, the Vancouver in uh, Canada so this is this Vancouver is really close to uh, Portland uh, I mean it's not in Oregon is it Oregon Portland Oregon I think the because it's just above, so it's in Washington State instead, instead uh, Vancouver. But th there is this game store. It's called Double Jump, Jump Video Games. So he actually helped me to buy this. But the cool thing is, I used to watch Sick Cooper as his channel his channel's name is on the internet. Hold on. Sick Cooper, uh, I used to watch him like eight years ago or something like that and then his channel kind of fell off for me, I don't know why uh, something, I don't know, he, he just did pick up video back in those days but I really like pick up videos, I don't know I kind of uh, lost in touch with that channel uh, so maybe a year ago or something like that uh, I found him again and he looked totally different had big beard and long hair and um, he plays in a band like real real band that goes on tour and stuff and uh, like really death metal music uh, not my thing but you know he films every day so this channel is the best if you want to have pickups and see games and different games every day so this guy has a game store which is called Double Jump uh, Video Games in Vancouver and he vlogs from his store every day uh, or 
even when he's free as well when he goes to like um, you know flea markets and uh, other places where he pick up games and shows his pickups and got long pickup videos and then he shows what people come in for trade in the store you know cool stuff that he might keep for himself or what he sold during the day and his store is like fucking hell I wish I had one of those stores in my where I live we don't um, so I, I found him MC Cooper it's awesome go check his channel it's one of the best like video game channels on the tubes I think uh, I really enjoy it it's S-I-C sick then it's Cooper with two O go check it out so he helped me out with picking this up Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy but this is the like I don't know the limited edition one with the controller uh, really nice controller here really cool oh fucking hell. what do you see with this camera nowadays pisses me off I don't know there it is anyway so thank you for that thank you for that uh, Cooper uh, if you watch this I don't know I'm gonna send into this video because of the pickups. It also helped me out with four other things, but those things I'm getting something for to make them a cooler thing to buy, actually. So they will be in another pickup video. Um, yeah, you have to believe me. So those will not be in this pickup video. Thanks again, Cooper. Uh, Double Jump Video Games. Sick Cooper is his channel. Go check it out. We're up to 12 minutes of the second video, part two. Um, now it's all switch baby all switch um, I used to have all three of these on uh, Game Boy Advance but I couldn't play them because they were in Japanese so uh, I played the D one of the DS games I don't, don't know if it was one of the you know original three but this came out in Japan it is the original trilogy but it's even though it came out in Japan, you can play with English subtitles. And that is Phoenix Wright, 1, 2, and 3. So I'm super happy to get that. Uh, do like me some Phoenix Wright. Uh, if you don't know what Phoenix Wright is, he's an uh, uh, attorney. Uh, where is he? What is that called? Oh my god. My English sometimes. Anywho, he works in that kind of industry. <laughs> cool. He's in the court, let's say that. Uh, my god, this video. Horrible. 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 Uh, so, yeah. This game has always been in dream for me when I watched uh, uh, videos on it on YouTube. And uh, it looks very, I don't know enjoyable and very I don't know fairy taleish uh, something about it though that really caught my eye and that is the liar princess and the blind prince it's like an uh, adventure platformer is it really no adventure game so happy to get that um, yeah, and then I, I found I, I didn't really want to. Oh, it's it's gonna it's gonna be part two. Two is gonna be end now, so I'm I'm not gonna do this one now, and uh, we're gonna cut it here, and we come back to part three. Jesus Christ!